Tough day at work for Lucia Bronzetti as Coco Golf takes her out in straight sets. Ouch. Lucia did have 10 straight breakpoint opportunities against Coco, but Coco, just too defensive minded, would save every last one of those 10. However, ladies and gentlemen, in the second set tiebreak, Lucia did have an opportunity up 5 4, then Coco hit a rocket, a heat. Seeking missile straight laser beam to seal the deal. And I talked about what does Coco listen to when she comes out on the course? She always has those expensive beat headphones. What's inside? What is she playing? Well, she tells you here again, ladies and gentlemen. Take a listen. That on purpose for me. So thank you to whoever's running the music up here. Um, yeah, that's what I was doing on Cora. When you saw me on my phone, I wasn't texting. I was just trying to find the song. Um, so yeah, that's the main song. And then just a bunch. So she says she listens to pretty much some type of uh, some type of rap music that gets her pumped up. Right. So I know she did say she listens to Jaden Smith in the past, which uh, I, I think he I don't really know his songs, but I, I do think I can recall he had one big huge hit record on the radio at one point but nonetheless i know his sister has some pretty good songs as well and of course big willie come on will smith he's had monster jam summertime he's had uh miami that was a big jam uh what else he had uh nightmare on elm street he said i think i can beat mike tyson he's will smith has had some some pretty big the men in black soundtrack was huge but nonetheless guys Corey coco golf she likes to listen to rap music that pumps her up and look that's understandable because when you are elite at what you do especially sports doesn't matter what sport when you're the best your opponents are going to gun for you you are going to get their best they want to take you out they want the game checks they want the rankings they want that notoriety of beating one of the best in the world and i do think coco is the future of tennis i i, I think next year coco hits number one unless if she can win Wimbledon and defend her title at the U.S. Open, she'll have a chance to become number one, but she's going to have to get a master in between, whether it's here or Miami. That's Coco's path to being number one. And of course, a good run at the finals. But I do think next year, Coco will hit for sure number one in the rankings. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. What's next for Coco? Either Elise Mertens, as we take a look at Brad Gilbert, or Naomi Osaka. Now, she's never lost to Elise Mertens the last time they played at the U.S. Open en route to her historic championship run. I don't think she'll have a problem with Elise Mertens, especially with the 34 unforced errors that she's been committing. But... I say that because Elise Mertens is going to have, what, at least eight to ten double faults herself. So Elise will give those mistakes back. I think Coco's uh, backhand and her two-way play will get her past Elise. I think she'll have problems with Osaka and the way Osaka's playing as Bronzetti takes a loser's walk. But she's not a loser. She's playing an amazing match. Osaka's technical. She's very physical. The head-to-head -head is 2-2. Two -two. However, I think it should probably be 3-1. Uh, that match at the Australian Open after Osaka destroyed Coco at the U.S. Open, I just felt Osaka wasn't playing in that match for whatever reason. Now, they did play in Cincinnati a few years ago where Osaka won that in three sets en route to her, you know, withdrawing from the championship match to Vika. They did play at the, uh, I want to say... San Diego, where Coco won that in straight sets. I don't think Osaka was in her best form. I think Osaka's in better form now than she was at San Diego. But I think it's going to be a tough match if Coco's making a lot of mistakes because I don't think Osaka would give her the opportunity to break back and get in those matches because Osaka's serve is efficient. She doesn't make a lot of double faults. She doesn't make a lot of errors. It's powerful, technical ball striking, and Coco's going to have to play pretty perfect to get past Naomi Osaka. But that's later. Now, enjoy the victory. Coco Golf victorious. Tennis in a minute. Drop a heart. Show her some love. She wins again. We'll be right back.